it's always a challenge when you're faced with a, a blank piece of paper um, because it's it's slightly scary it can be intimidating but it's also it's also an opportunity to do something fresh and new um, and I think the important thing as an artist is to continually develop and to, to continually move forward and what's challenging and frightening but also ultimately rewarding is to move into new areas and to try something that you haven't done before. I first got interested in working in stained glass through art school. I was there many moons ago um, up in uh, Edinburgh and I was actually going to study something completely different. I was going to study graphic design and then I walked into the stained glass studio and I thought wow this is fantastic. Just so much light coming into the room and what appealed to me was working with your hands. It was something very kind of um, honest about just hand making something and I just fell in love with it there and then. I make all of my traditional stained glass here in my studio in Leicestershire um, and I enjoy making things by hand um, but it's very time consuming. Uh, I'm making traditional stained glass in the same way that it's been done for centuries so hand tools, uh, antique glass, lead, um, hand painting on glass and kiln firing and it's a slow process. Very often with um, an art installation your part of your brief is to tell a story uh, whether it is the story of a local community or the story of a place or a figure. You spend time with the local community, uh, working with them, talking with them, getting them to write down ideas and memories, bring in photographs, um, liaise with you and bringing various parts of communities together and, and watching the chemistry f take place and then use that chemistry to inform the way you create a design. It's always interesting when you create an artwork that goes into a building because the building's going to last for a long time. It's going to last for many years and the artwork is going to be there as well. So it's got to be relevant not only for today but also for years to come.